Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a beautiful day thus far. It's beautiful and sunny out here in Bend, Oregon, and also very cold. It's only in the 20s right now, and I think it is double the temperature up in Washington where I used to live. But it's still really beautiful and just sunny and just really enjoying this winter time as it comes in, the coolness and all. Uh, so today is another video for our Winter Wisdom series. Uh, this has been really a joy to hear all of you as you're going through this process. I know that winter is often a time of feeling as though you are a hermit um, and hi beautiful Angie and also feelings of sometimes depression and added stress and anxiety and long lists of to do. You know, we have to go to the parties, we have to get the presents, we have to do, 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 all these things. And uh, really wanting to ground down into the space of self-care, that's really what this is about. And also to see that the wisdom of winter is so needed this time of year, actually fuels the whole entire year of head. So I actually look at, um, I celebrate Samhain, which is the pagan holiday for New Year, which this is the new year. This is the beginning of the year ahead. So what I really do and what I invite you to do, whether or not you celebrate um, Samhain or not, hello beautiful Sinead, um, is that looking at this as the beginning of your year. Sometimes we wait until January to really start on our goals and to really decide what we want, but this is a really, really potent time, and there's a few reasons for that. And so today specifically, I really wanna share with you these pieces that move and ebb and flow with us, specifically as women, and how it actually relates to your cycle. This is something that I've been uh, doing with my clients for the past oh six months six to nine months or so i've been doing something called the moon cycle series and so we've been doing these sessions to help women ground down into their body also doing some of the science pieces of why we actually have pms cramps and mood swings and digestive issues and also issues with food of being on a roller coaster all the time so they can find stability and also how that relates to what they need in different times of their life. So I really want to share a couple pieces with you that are specific to winter because I think you're all just going to be able to go, oh, this just feels so much better, right? Because it's really about mindset. Um, so within that, I actually pulled um, a card for us all this morning. I was, I was thinking um, about all of you. I pulled a card and so I wanted to read this as we began our winter wisdom series about how winter and the monthly cycle is connected and out can really create potent transformation for you. Hi, Melanie. So the card I pulled today is actually from the Law of Attraction, um, Health and the Law of Attraction from Abraham Hicks. And the card this morning says, my body is very responsive to an improved story. And on the back, it says, my body is a reflection mostly of the thoughts I think, and I am looking forward to seeing physical changes in my body that reflect changes in my thinking. I am confident that those changes are in progress, and in the meantime, I am generally feeling so good that I'm not unhappy with where I currently am. It is fun to think on purpose and to see the results of those deliberately chosen thoughts. My body is very responsive to my thoughts. I like knowing that. So that is the card for us today. And I'll also share a picture with this in the group if you'd like to look over the back of it as well. So really moving into how we view this time can completely transform our relationship with our body. I know many of you are dealing with some more severe health issues, um, you know, and I've been there too, and it cannot always feel easy to transform our thoughts, but it's really about just shifting into something just a little bit better, right? And just going, how can I lift myself at least, you know, mentally up just a little bit more? So I wanna share with you a couple of these points. So I'm gonna bring up my notes here so I don't get too off track, because I know you all are busy women too. Um, so yeah, let's talk about your cycle a little bit first. So I think oftentimes our cycle is looked about as just something that kind of comes and goes. Sometimes we have PMS, um, sometimes we have you know cramping, and um, it's just something that kind of uh, ebbs and wanes. And I know a lot of you are in this group because you know that food influences it as well. But there's actually a lot, there's actually much 
more deeper perspective within your monthly cycle as well. So to share that with you, um, a little bit about your monthly cycle in winter, is that your cycle over your lifetime has about four different cycles. And in just your monthly cycle itself, you have about four different periods within this monthly cycle, not just one. So one of the, the two of these cycles we're gonna go over, so just very briefly, is your luteal and your menstrual or your moon time. And so within these, um, within these cycles of your cycle, they're actually related to different seasons. And each season holds different wisdom and also brings divine downloads and also introspection, specifically in luteal and your moon time. And so luteal is like the fall, right? The place of going, starting to become inward, right? Rooting back down into the ground, which depending on what place you are in this beautiful world, you might, you might not have snow yet, some of us do. Where everything is starting to right, the plants are kind of going down back into the ground. They're really rooting, right? And going underneath for a time period, sometimes for months, it really just depends on where you're at. And so also in your moon time, it's really considered winter time. And there's a beautiful wisdom to it. And it's very much a deepening and a quieting and a nesting, really just being in the darkness, also in silence. And so within these, they bring up a lot of different emotions. And if you think about it, nature needs these times, right? We need the fall, we need the winter, we need the spring, we need the summer. They all hold their different wisdom. You can't be in bloom, right? Nature is not always in bloom, just like our bodies. We can't always be pushing forward and always be in bloom the whole entire time. And I think that's what often happens. And this is where we really get worn down and create a lot of anxiety for ourselves and become ungrounded. It's because we don't really give ourselves the space we need. Um, and the and which I'll explain more in detail. But like I said, you cannot be in bloom all the time. And so when we constantly feel we have to keep going, 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 just as we did during the summer, and I see a lot of that, a lot of guilt, right? Like the video we talked about a couple days ago, a lot of guilt about not doing it all, about not continually keeping up with everything we thought we were gonna do, not with all the perfect foods, all the self-care, you know, all the exercises, um, all the parties, all the festivities, all the social outings. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves this time of year when really this time of year is a time for darkness and going within. And that's not to say you're not gonna have any social events or anything like that as well, because that's a beautiful aspect to the holidays, is also gathering together. Now, specifically for your monthly cycle, I wanna talk a little bit about that. What does that darkness mean? Is that scary? <laughs> you know, what is that? So specifically during your luteal and your menstrual cycle is when we get lunar information. So you might not really connect to this so-called woo-woo stuff, but it's been really scientifically proven that our emotions are closely tied to our, our uh, monthly cycle and it will actually depend on how we feel the entire month long on our PMS, our cramps, um, our food choices and everything else and also our cravings. So thinking about that, that lunar information, these divine downloads. Now I think I can speak for just about every woman here that sometimes we think we're going a little bit crazy or we have some sort of crazy thoughts or we've at least been told that during times of our luteal phase, which is right before we get our menses and also during our menstrual cycle, right? Sometimes we have a little bit of roller coaster of how we feel and then we come out of it and we go, holy shit, that was crazy. And you're like, I don't really feel like that right? Has, has anybody ever felt like that? I would love to hear from you all. Um, so, you know, sometimes we come out of that and we're like, oh, I didn't really mean that. We might have a discussion, an argument with somebody, and we might have said things that we thought we didn't mean, but really there's a lot of information in there that tells us a lot about um, ourselves and what we actually need. So, your home, so looking at the year and your whole cycle long, everything that comes up through spring, summer, and fall, is now going to come into this winter phase. All your shit is gonna come up because this is that space of darkness and introspection and download. So anything that has not been tended to, just as your cycle, it has that four right within that month, let's just say, even though it can be different for every woman, everything that happened during your first part of that cycle, if it has not been tended to, you have not spoken your needs, 
voiced what you need um, and also taking care of yourself, it's going to come up and it's going to rear its ugly head kind of. Um, so just like that, within the winter season, everything that's been going on all year round is going to come up right now. And this is why a lot of depression, anxiety, triggers of trauma, all of this is going to really come into play right now. So that's why we're like, oh, I just kind of feel depressed and it's just because it's dark out and all these things. Mm, there might be some pieces of darkness, right? But it's not just that. If your body is actually speaking to you and saying, you need to really spend time here. You need to really sit with yourself and move through some things. And this is a really just a, kind of a a blessing, so to speak, from nature, right? Because you're down in the ground, you're rooted, right? And you're giving your spells a space. You really need some extra spaciousness in this time, not to fill it with every single party you can attend or do all the same things you would do during the summer, not necessarily even eat the same foods, but rather to sit with yourself. And this is a great time to look at this past year. What actually worked for you? What came up with you emotionally in your relationships, your career, with other people, arguments that you maybe thought, oh, you know, I, I can't believe I said that. Anytime we have things like that, there's actually truth in those. There's some truth within them, just as they're in within our mind play cycle. And we won't, don't want it to ever get so big that the volcano erupts. Rather, we want to be consistently tending to it. So this is the time to gather and be like, oh, yeah, like over this past year, what have I done for myself? What worked really, really well? What fed me in the best way? Hello, beautiful Laura, I see you peeking in. Um, and so what really fed me, fed my soul, you know, gave me inspiration and what really fucking sucked? Like what did not work well for me this year? Maybe it was your health. Maybe you're just feeling completely just like, ugh, another year has come to an end and I haven't, you know, I know a lot of you have been diagnosed with like an autoimmune, or, you know, we have a lot of thyroid stuff coming up. And what is thyroid? When we, um, when we really look at that, it's speaking our truth. It's speaking our desires. It's holding true to ourselves. That's really what thyroid is more in that emotional piece. And so I know a lot of you are working with that and a lot of fatigue, right? Just feeling really, really tired. And sometimes we come to this time of year and like, Ugh. You know, I just, I, I'm still kind of at the same place that I was and I tried super, super hard, but it, I'm not getting any better. So this is a time to really be with yourself with that. Let yourself be angry. Let yourself be sad. Look at what work and decide what you're going to do differently about it, right? Because we always, we are the creator of our reality and we choose what we're going to do for ourselves and how we're going to be. Nobody else can do that for us. Even as, you know, if you have a coach, like even as myself, I can't do anything for anyone. I can support someone, but I can't do that work. And so this is a really great time to really root down in that look and be sad and be angry and just be with those feelings that are often uncomfortable. And that's why I really wanna encourage you all to, as I know there's a lot of, some of that stress, like I talked about parties and festivities and getting ready for everything. Instead of filling your plate, so to speak, uh, with all the things to really create spaciousness. And so I know some of you were talking about self-care and how to create simple self-care. Well, the easiest thing you can do, the simplest thing, is not to fill it with all the things. And also, if you don't feel like shopping for like a thousand different people for Christmas, don't, right? And what can you do for yourself is you can create your own schedule. You choose what you do every single day and create spaciousness for yourself of not having to do it all. This is not the season to do it all, right? This is a time for rooting down in so that when spring comes, you have got clarity, you have released some deep shit, and you have also gone, yeah, what am I dreaming of? What's coming to me? This is also that time when you're gonna start receiving like, oh, I would really like to do that, but don't let the itty bitty shitty committee that we have within our, within our mind, that kind of space of going, oh, but I can't, I don't have the money. Oh, but I can't because of this, right? Those are all just stories, which means you can change them at any time and they may feel really, really true for you and you may even argue for your excuse, for your story, but that is a choice. So knowing that you can change your story at any time, even if it feels very true. 
So knowing that is like grounding and dreaming. So dream this time of year. Dream what you want for yourself and know that it is all possible. And anytime you have a doubt come up, recognize it, honor it, and then also let it go. Because you don't have to do anything about it right now. This is a really potent time for, hi beautiful, oh, I love you too, Angie. Um, and so really just being in that space for yourself. It's just like, I'm just gonna dream right now and I'm gonna be with myself and be with my shit. We need the shadow work. We need this deep grounding, earthy time for ourselves. There is potent medicine in our deep, darkest selves. We don't get transformation for everything being rainbows and butterflies all the time. That is not where transformation comes from. I was talking to my acupuncture uh, acupuncturist uh, yesterday and we were talking about chronic illness and how I'm consistently, consistently investing in myself. I put a lot of money. It's where most of my money goes. I don't buy things. What I do is I invest in my wellness every single day. And so what he said was that there's nothing like a chronic illness or something um, severe that happens to you health-wise for you to recognize the beauty and the responsibility of taking care of your body and for you to be really in alignment with it. And I believe that is so true. There's a really big blessing. If there's something that you're struggling with, um, I know some of you are just kind of feeling like this with food, right? You're just like, I do really, really well, and then it sucks. Um, or I think I'm getting better, and then I don't. You know, or your health, like it just, nothing's all coming together. Notice that this is a, a blessing in a really shitty disguise sometimes, um, but that can be your biggest transformation, always. And I know that can kind of sound like, oh, sure, she's saying that because she's better now, but really it is, because every single step that I took it made me go through my stories, my excuses, and my darkness. And that is the only way that I came here today to being able to move through my eating disorders, to move through chronic illness and pain every single day. Embrace what you have, be in the shittiness of it, and get support. So really, this is a great time to decide what you want for your life. Look at this as the new year. Right now, not in January. This is in your new year. So take this, right, like as your monthly cycle, this like I talked about, it ebbs and wanes. Every month you have this opportunity where you root back in and you need rest, right? Like when you're in your menstrual cycle, it's like we don't need to push through as much as society says. It's like push, push through. You're like, no, I need to rest because I'm getting some divine downloads and I'm feeling more emotional. Those emotions, whew, those are potent medicine. Those are from your whole entire month of be before, just as winter is from your whole entire, every single season from this year. So you need that because what you're gonna do, you write it down, you meditate with it, and then as you come out of it, you use it to make the decisions that are gonna truly align with what you want. So I know for some of you, it may be investing in, um, maybe more travel, maybe investing in your health in a new way that you never have before. Maybe it's getting a coach, maybe it's doing a group program, maybe it's, um, you know, whatever that is for you, or maybe it's just deciding that you're just gonna change, you know, you're actually gonna buy organic versus non-organic. You know, everybody is different, but really use this time to gather that information. That's really what's gonna help you for the year ahead. And of course, you can still act on it if you want, just don't push yourself. So that's really what I want to invite you to do is one of the simplest pieces of self-care. Don't fucking try to do it all. You are the creator of your life. I know that sometimes as women, we're like, well, I have to put together the party. I need to make the food. I don't want to put my diet on anybody else, so I should probably eat this thing. I don't want to put anybody out about it. Fuck that. It is also about you. So stand for what you desire and what you truly want for your life. You decide how many parties you go to, how many festivities, and even if you choose to be around your family or not. So also knowing that you have a decision in that, in what serves you the highest and to the best of, um, for your best self. So know that. Um, so within that, um, if you have any questions, yeah, let, let me know about this. If you're like, how does this really go with my monthly cycle and those sort of pieces, just let me know. Um, I'd love to talk about this, uh, which leads me to my announcement. So I am leaving for our Bali retreat um, in, I think it's December 6th. I'll still be working, of course, but I'm going to be gone for just about three months, um, which is nuts to even say that. I'll be gone for three months 
from beginning of December till the end of February. I'll be going to uh, Bali, uh, South Korea, and also Australia. I'm really just excited for this whole different journey. And before I do, my calendar is quickly um, being filled with so many beautiful people, and I really want to support you all in feeling just this connection and this deep, uh, rooted down grounding for yourself this time of year. So I'm holding a few different moon set, moon cycle sessions. These are different from my long term programs. Um, that way you can sign up for one or three sessions for these and it's really a way to uncover also some things that are going on with food, this roller coaster of guilt to really understand how that is actually part of your cycle and that you actually probably have more stability than you know. And to actually move through and understand how also your adrenals, your thyroid and your gut are all created and how these cycles, this ebb and flow can actually create your most potent transformation by knowing this even with chronic illness um, or even your struggle with food, how this can really transform this relationship with your body and food. So I'm holding just a few more sessions in between these times that I'm traveling just for women who really want to do something in a new way that's not dieting, that's not, um, but instead go, oh, I have this intrinsic wisdom, I think I've just been suppressing it and not really listening or honoring this part of my life. And my body is changing and I need to understand why. So if that's you, if you're finding mood swings and just like also to the swinging, this roller coaster with food, join me for the moon cycle sessions. I'm only holding a few as I am going to be traveling um, and also preparing myself um, for these beautiful participants joining us on the retreat. So I'll be holding about, um, I think about a space for five women um, for these over the next couple months. Please do let me know if you're interested or if you have questions at all. This has really just been one of the most beautiful aspects that I, I love of doing all my things. It really puts everything all together, all those kind of feelings of missing pieces that even I felt in my work. I was like, huh, you know, all this pressure to kind of always be all in, all the foods, all the same time, all the same uh, self-care and time, um, but really putting it together so it just feels really congruitive really kind of fills in those spaces. No, they are virtual. So the moon cycle sessions are all virtual They're over something called Zoom, which is similar to Skype, except there's a recording, so you get a recording of it afterwards. So they usually take a place via video, which you can do from your phone or from your laptop or desktop computer. Oh, Angie, I'd love to do one with you. They're just so fun. Um, I'll post the, uh, the link for it um, up in, the top explanation of this video so you can check it out. They're um, just been such a gift for, for me too and my own and going, it's okay if I crave chocolate, if I crave pizza, there's a reason for all of this and to really be able to let go of the guilt and find grounding in this space, especially this time of year. Um, so that's why I really, I wanted to do them this time of year and leave space in my, my schedule is because I just, it's just so sad to see us as women push ourselves through this time when really we can change the trajectory of our whole entire year ahead. How much potency there is in the spring and the summer and the fall time for the whole entire year. We create this space and how you can really do that um, is just an amazing, beautiful experience um, for yourself. And also gives us a good time to go over any of those extra pieces that are feeling um, kind of like, I kind of got that thing going up to, you know, to get some advice also within that. Um, so just not going over that, but going over your health in general. So I'll post uh, some information about that for those that, that are interested. Um, that's going to be available for um, the next couple of weeks to sign up for those. And then after that, um, I'm, my calendar is pretty full. So um, I'll leave that up for you all. Please do let me know if you're interested, if you have any questions. Um, sending love to you all today. Remember to be in the simple self-care, which is how you take care of yourself every day. It is not just in the spa days, getting massages and things like that. It is how you create your life. Truly it is. And knowing that you are the creatress of your life and you can do and have anything you want. And yes, sometimes that may take time, but you have that power. You do. And anytime that you feel that doubt within yourself come up, 
honor it and put it to the side and feel it and then you can always move through the logistics later. Just know that it is always available to you. Anything you want, it's always available to you. Sending you so much love everyone. Have a beautiful day.